Cut ahead, everybody. I'm back at channel for watching some football. 13 28. The Vikings are at 13. The Lions are at 28. Oh, let's go! The Vikings are at 16 and the Lions are still at 28. I think I'm ready to leave the city. Find a job where I can work from home. Move somewhere where I can get a little house. No right. neighbors. Pressure on Kirk Cousins. That's what Aaron Glenn, Dan Campbell expected. They drafted him in the number two pick first round, and he's been stepping up. Go Vikings! Yeah. Woohoo! The Lions offense back out. Vikings for the win. We're clinched the NFC North for a tie. Record of 10 and 2. That's for the Packers. Last three years, Bears won the division in 2018. Pull up the Lions, you have to go all the way back. The 1993, their last division title. What an atmosphere here today. We've been coming to Ford Field for a lot of years. This is loud as we've heard it. But the Lions looking to win their fifth of the last six games. Pass incomplete intended for St. Brown on first down. To be very candid. It was at Obi, best half full every time we came. We've got a sold out stadium today. This is a great divisional rival, divisional matchup, and this is what winning brings you. Dan Campbell had preached it. Love he told us he really feels like we're over the hall. The Lions are at 28. The Lions are 28. I just fell on my booty. I just fell. Bear, come here. The bear. It's a bear. It's a bear. It's a bear. It's a bear right here. See, it's a bear. It's a bear. I like how I can just turn it. Oh, bear. There's a Christmas tree. That's right, I did, Kenny. You know what he told me about this offense? He says nobody is selfish on this offense. I love it. He said, we all want to eat. I tell everyone on the team, finish your food, get your touchdowns, let's celebrate at the end. That is just what we are. He was one of the first in there with DeAndre Swift. Do, 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 do. Uh, he said the best, do, part do, do. Offense, the best part about this team, no egos. Kind of like you. Eddie, watch this. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a touchdown. Bam, 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 bam. 
six different Lions have run with the football. Yeah, I love that. Justin Jackson, he got a rushing touchdown. He's in there. You don't see Jamal Williams or DeAndre Swift pouting on the sideline. They're encouraging him, high-fiving him when he makes a play. Hey, that's just good all-around football. And same thing with the wide receivers. Mm -hmm. like spread the wells. Everyone's getting the play game's good, win. Third down and three. Rob fires. Another first down completion. Let's go. 15 yards on the reception by uh -huh. the Oh, this is not good. You're on the wrong side of some greatness. Five straight games allowing 400 plus yards of total offense. Yeah, you, yes, you're 10 and 2, but this is going to catch up to you, right? Especially when you haven't gotten any takeaways. That's also key, right? If you're going to give up all these yards, you have to offset it somehow. Today it's not happening. That's the amazing thing. They're 10 and 2, but they've been outgained on average by 63 yards. Turn it up, Sega. I'll come back to that after this play. So remember that you have a lot of times they have big leads. So now teams are in two minute mode and they're passing the right. ball. So you're going to give up a lot of yards that way. So it, this this game has been different, but that can also contribute to why you give up so many yards on defense. Now the Vikings have actually been outscored by two points this season by their opponents, including the game today, but 10-2. That's right. They won nine one-score games. So their losses have been some ugly, right. ugly losses. 24-7 and 40-3 to the Eagles and Cowboys. On second down, second and eight, it is Swift. And he picks up another first down as we approach six minutes remaining. Time for a game break, Carissa. Thanks, Kate. Letting you guys know what's coming up next. It's America's Game of the Week. Brady returns to the Bay. Of course, from Northern California. And then taking on Brock Purdy. Taking his first NFL career start in place of the injured Jimmy Garoppolo. It's all coming up next. America's Game of the Week. Brock Purdy, Mr. Irrelevant. Last pick in the draft, number 262. Going up against the guy who was also overlooked until the sixth round of Tom Brady. Now, right now, Brock Purdy is far from irrelevant. He's got talent. He's got an awesome defense. They got to figure out how to win games. Williams bottled up by Tomlinson. Well, speaking of Tom Brady, Monday, Bucks crowd 16-3 against the Saints. Under four minutes remaining, they win 17-16. How about Baker Mayfield? We're gonna go ride snowmobiles. Against the we're Ravens, gonna go ride snowmobiles. With under four minutes left. Yeah, we're, we're gonna go ride some snowmobiles. Today. I went to sleep on both of those we're games when it was 16-3 under four so minutes. I was like, "There's no way that they're gonna coming back." Snowmobiles. Brady, I expected Mayfield. Congratulations. Did not see that coming. Now, Kirk Cousins. Is he going to be able to do something similar? Five minutes left in this game. The Lions offense is driving right now. Second down and 11. You know, we asked Kirk Cousins, we said, assume you watched what Baker Mayfield did on Thursday night. How difficult is that? He arrived in L.A. two days earlier. And he talked about, one, it was amazing. Two, extremely difficult. But then he went specific, right? He said, look, third down, that's the hardest part. For Baker Mayfield to be able to convert on those third downs, he said that was special from Baker Mayfield. Vikings call timeout. Stop the clock. Down by 12. Is there something on the ship? There's something with us here. What do we do? Get to the escape pods. Go now! Okay, I'm an alien, and I got these claws. I'm climbing the wall now. If you're making a sci-fi movie, you need to finish the special effects. Does that look good? And if you want to save by bundling home and car insurance, you need Geico. Geico? Uh-oh. See how much you could save by bundling with Geico. Is that going to be a problem? Bah, humbug. My signal is totally ghosting me. You need a better network. We bad. Joe Goff, three touchdown passes today. A look at his numbers on third down. Long drive for the Lions. Third down and six. As Goff throws. St. 
Brown, wrapped up by Sullivan, stops short. You hear Larry and Randy. Goff is setting the protection, so he wanted to slide left. Larry, slide left. Ooh, I can That's smell the, I can smell the Christmas cookies. And so he saw the protection, or excuse me, he saw the blitz coming. It was zero coverage. So you slide the protection, mush it all up, give him some time to make that throw. Now, if we could figure that out, don't the Vikings know what Larry and Randy refer to? Well, it's too late because they're already into their blitz. So unless you're going to now check completely out of your blitz, then you're stuck with it. Send out the field goal unit. Play clock will yeah, trying to draw him offside. run all the way down. Try to do just that. And timeout taken by the Lions. So now the field goal unit will come out. Now there's from Allstate. I'm the captain of the Pee Wee football team. We may be small, but we are oh, annoying. And you are so tired from playing defense against us that your focus is about to ride the bench. Go, go, go. Thanks, Mom. Bye. Come on, come on. And if you have a cut rate car insurance, then not even a Hail Mary will save you from paying for this. So get all state and be better protected from mayhem, like me. Oh. Michael Badgley about to attempt a 41-yard field goal. The reigning NFC Special Teams Player of the Week missed from 47 earlier. Lions just ran six and a half minutes off the clock. Thank you guys drive. for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Detroit to and I will tell you. I will game. tell you who won at the late show tonight. Have they been able See to you guys, peace.